the way of the Lord is not equal, but for them there is no, the way is not equal. When the righteous turn from his righteousness and committeth iniquity, he shall even die thereby. But the wick, but if the wicked turn from his wickedness and do which is lawful and the and right, and shall live thereby. Amen. And uh, it goes on, and we won't take for a sake of time tonight. We won't read no more than that. But uh, amen. The writing goes on, and it begins to take and talk, and uh, begins to tell about. Uh, amen. Uh, and the righteous are taking turning uh, uh, from the good way and going back their way. And, uh, and I was thinking as a young man, I heard uh, uh, my mama say uh, many of the times, uh, uh, "We got to find a turning place." Uh, amen. And you know, a lot of times uh, we got to get to the place to where we can find uh, a place to. Turn around and I, and I was a thinking about uh, it's been here many of the days uh, and I've traveled across these mountains uh, and got to the these little narrow roads uh, on the edge of a cliff and I said Lord uh, why'd they put a road across here uh, and I began to get scared after a while uh, the road to keep on narrowing it down uh, you know what I started looking for Jason uh, a turning place uh, a place that I could turn around uh, amen and head back to what I want though might have been safety uh, but uh, many of the times there ain't no place uh, uh, once we get on that road uh, to find a turning spot. Uh, uh, but after a while, uh, amen, we'll get out to a place uh, uh, where it widens out uh, and it looks a little better uh, and we'll lose uh, the fear of everybody. Uh, a lot of times we're all traveling uh, uh, down the wrong highway uh, and we're traveling down the way uh, and we get to a place uh, uh, where everything's widening out uh, and the devil's got us blinded uh, and thinking everything uh, is okay. Uh, but blessing be the name of God uh, and he'll find you in a place uh, and put you on the head of a mountain uh, and let you see uh, the dangers of death, uh, the dangers of hell. Uh, but friend, let me tell you something. Uh, it's something uh, about turning. Uh, he said, turn ye, uh, uh, turn ye. Uh, amen. I want to turn uh, from the place uh, uh, where I once lived uh, and walk uh, in the ways of righteousness. Uh, I want to go forth uh, as a child uh, of the Peace in the field. 
defeated foe. He has no authority on the children of God. He may throw us in curveballs. And a lot of times, we'll be crazy enough to catch them. But friend, when you realize that you've got a ball for the devil, throw it down. Turn from the thing and repent. The Bible said, when you take it, when you realize that you sin, repent and turn you. So I'm looking for a place tonight that me as a child of God and I may be a traveler down the road and a lot of times I thought about it you'd be riding down a lot of these little roads every one of them look exactly the same amen you get down there and you say well they said go right but this looks like this is the right place right here left it will take that turn and go the opposite way and what your direction told you that's what we do with the word of God that's what we do with the Holy Ghost it will come by and it will tell you to go this way and in our minds we say it looks a little better it looks a little easier it's a little closer to go that way I found out most of the time shortcuts takes a lot longer than just staying with the path that's, that's right. going right. That's right. Amen. Detours. They're called that for a reason. Because if it would have been just as fast uh, it went that way, uh, they would have just redirected traffic uh, and said go that way. Uh, there would be no use uh, of fixing the road. Uh, there would be no use uh, of replacing the bridge. Uh, just go the way uh, that you're going. Uh, but there's something about uh, being on a highway uh, of holiness. Uh, the King's Highway. Uh, and let me tell you something. Uh, it's a straight. Uh, it's a narrow path. Uh, but off the way. Uh, on the other way. Uh, amen. It's a broad Way. And the Bible said many will find their ways therein. A church, let me tell you something. As a six-year-old little boy, I found my way off out of the path of the broad, of the damnation. Amen. I found my way onto the King's Highway. I've been a traveler, and I've been on it. I failed him. I went by the wayside, but yet I'm still holding on. The Bible would say, if you get to score something, you should say, there'll be a turning place for you. She said, if your daddy finds out, yeah. the turning place will come a lot quicker. And there's a many times that the turning place was the backside of my daddy's leather belt. Yeah. Hey Amen. It woke me up on it. Yeah. It got my attention. Boy, when he got done with me, I knew I didn't want to travel down the way that I'd been traveling by because I knew that's something that had a hold of me. I thought it can't get no worse than this. It's the worst thing that's ever happened till the first time I crossed God. Come on, get ready, Tim. A turning place. When God withdraws His Spirit. You cry, there's no tears. You pray and it feels like it's hitting right here. Hey Amen. You'll do everything. You think if you thought it would help you, you'd dig a ditch, a six by six, a square six foot deep, and you'll remain therein. If you thought it'd see you had good Holy Ghost back, that good power. A friend, let me tell you something. It's a turning place. And when the devil's telling you, I've got you wrapped up, you just remind him there's a turning place. It's a place that I can go. Somebody said, what is that, preacher? When the devil tells you there's no hope, you go back to that old book. And you find you a turning spot, and you get your scripture, and you say, Devil, it don't matter to me what you say. The word of God says, I'm going through, and it ain't nothing you can do about it. 